Hey everyone, welcome to Commander Clash. This week we are celebrating the New Year's by doing a Commander Clash where each of us show off our New Year's resolution in terms of Commander and Commander Clash in general. So each of us are, are going to be trying to do something new, challenge ourselves in a certain way that we haven't been doing or have been lacking in the past year. And going forward, maybe what we do in this game, these these challenges, goals for ourselves might carry over for the, the rest of the year. So let's start off with Richard. What is your New Year's resolution? All right. So I, I asked on Twitter and half the people didn't understand what I was asking. So they suggested yeah, even you... jankier tribes. Oh, wow. <laughs> but uh, the, the other half, uh, one big suggestion, there were, there were many suggestions, but one theme was play quote-unquote real tribal decks so not the janky stuff but actual tribes and a, a second theme i saw was uh play better cards so that you come out of the gates swinging as opposed to hanging back and swooping in for the victory Ooh. so so this week i'm playing humans 4c humans they're all good cards they all look really scary I'm going to make you all try to take me down, and I'm going to arch enemy my way to victory. That That is the plan. Wow. I don't know if that's going to work. I, I it doesn't really follow my theory of commander, but we'll give it a shot. It's the new year, right? And it'll be an interesting uh, way to play the game. I will say this does that does sound like a complete opposite of, rich, of your typical style of play, so this is actually a... I would say a really good New Year's resolution because typically, yeah, you play the janky tribes and you hang back and when there's an opening, you swoop in, like you said. And in this case, going for the arch enemy approach, I don't know if that's going to be more successful despite having like a stronger deck. That means they're going to get more heat, more resources uh, thrown at you and it could definitely uh, balance out or even backfire. So that's going to be cool. Yep. All right, Tom, what is your New Year's resolution for Commander Clash? So when I was going through uh, decks that I previously played on Commander Clash, or just in general, I realized there was a specific type of deck that was severely lacking, and that was actually artifact-style uh, decks. I don't think I've played a single basic artifact deck ever. Uh, and if I have, I certainly don't remember it, and it didn't really last give me a lasting idea of what to do. So I built a very synergistic artifact-based build with Brea Ethereum Shaper. So I'm excited to try it out, and um, it's not a, uh, a type of deck I usually play, so I definitely wanted to see if this would be something that would be more fun. Um, it's not a deck that is kind of the inverse of Richard's. It's not a deck that comes out of the gates swinging very much. There aren't that many aggressive artifacts, so it definitely kind of hangs back a bit more. So I'm excited to try that out and uh, try a different sort of version of magic this time. Yeah, I feel like we used to have a good amount of artifact decks, at least at the beginning of Commander Clash, but then we just haven't seen them often. Like the only times I remember artifact decks being like like focused artifact decks being a thing is like maybe we played Brea twice and that's mm -hmm. about it. So it's cool just in general to see artifact decks. And yeah, I don't I don't recall you doing artifacts much, if at all. So yeah, it will be neat. Yeah, I was very jealous when I saw those Brea decks, too. They looked really fun, so I'm excited to try out something similar to that. Should be a blast. Mm -hmm. She's definitely fun. All right, and taking Jennifer's spot today is the return of Seth. Jennifer couldn't make it for the scheduling of this of this video, and, you know, the holidays are coming right up, so... Uh, terms in terms of recording, it was a little bit tough. So saving the day at the very last moment, like the last hour, <laughs> I would say, is Seth. Welcome back, Seth. Uh, how's it going, guys? I'm excited to be back. <laughs> I kind of miss playing Commander, so I was glad that I got called in at the last minute. Yeah, definitely. It's been like two weeks or so. So <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know forever. <laughs> so, what is your New Year's resolution for Commander Clash, Seth? So I didn't have as much time as you guys did to put up questions on Twitter and stuff. I had to think <laughs> about it and come up with my New Year's resolution all by myself. And as I was thinking through my Commander games, I realized 
I don't really attack. I'm a dirtler. I usually don't even attack when I probably should attack because I don't like killing people because that means the game ends and I can't draw as many cards. So I figured that my New Year's resolution would be to attack more. So my deck is... Mono blue. I know the color of attacking, but (laughs) (laughs) the theme is unblockable creatures, which basically is going to force me to attack because my creatures, they're not very powerful. They're not very big. They're not very good at blocking, but they can attack whenever they want to because they're unblockable. So hopefully I actually get aggressive and do some attacking this game. I like it. I think the best incentive for a Seth deck to be aggressive is if you can draw cards out of it. That's what I I have my inkling of is going to happen. But regardless, I'm very excited to see an aggressive Seth deck. I think it's been like in the four years or so that we've been doing Commander Clash, I don't think I've ever seen Seth pilot a really, truly aggressive (laughs) deck. So this is definitely going to be a treat. Should be interesting. All right, and this is Tomer. Well, I also took to Twitter to ask everybody vaguely um, what my New Year's resolution deck should be, and I got a very mixed response, but one that kept uh, popping up very persistently um, was to do an archetype that I hate. I hate this archetype so, so much. I think I hate it more than Tom hates Infect. It is the chaos strategy, the chaos archetype. And I dislike the the archetype playing against it. I dislike playing it. Um, so you haven't seen me play a true chaos deck ever in Commander Clash in the, the four-ish years that we've been doing it. Um, and every single time I get requested to play it, I ignore it. So this time, for a few years, I'm going to play a chaos deck truly and uh, hopefully I, I made a couple tweaks to make it something that maybe I'll enjoy a little bit. But I will say this. The deck has a few win- ways to win, but it also has the vast majority of the cards are there for chaos. It is there to just not benefit me, just to mess with the board, just jumble it around <laughs> and... I kind of, I kind of want this deck to lose. I don't know. I, re- <laughs> I really don't like chaos. But okay. I'm, wow, this is Tober. People... Way, way to not get in the spirit of it. <laughs> this I'll is what people want. But I'm not gonna win with it. <laughs> this is what people want. All right. So I'm giving it a shot. <laughs> I've actually never wanted face cams more than this because the look I'm giving you. Oh boy. Uh, oh boy indeed. Oh, oh boy, boy indeed. And with that out of the way, let's <laughs> jump into the game. Starting hands. I get to go. Oh, no, never mind. I get to go first. <laughs> um this hand is a two lander. Uh it has some early ramp. I think it is absolutely fine, so I'm gonna keep it. I have no idea what to do with my hand. Uh, it, it's not aggressive as I want it to be, but it has lands and spells. And I think it's good. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll let the YouTube comments chime in whether I should <laughs> mulligan into a more aggressive hand, but uh, I think this is good. I'm not too sure about my hand. It's also two lands, but I think I might be able to cast my commander, so... I'm going to keep it and see how this works. Of note, (laughs) there are three four-color commanders at the table, which is pretty cool. And And it shows shows the popularity (laughs) of that set. Uh, Brea, Yidris, Saskia, and then (laughs) Thada. Seems to line up well against Tom's deck. I'm kind of excited for that. You should play an island, Tom. Hopefully that's oh, yeah. one of your two lands. The, <laughs> right, the artifact right. deck. I'm going to play a Path of Ancestry oh. real quick. Artifacts. Uh-oh. That's, that's not an island. Ooh, it's Thopters. But no, Hey-o. it's just... Uh, are there humans. Thopter creatures? No. It's, Maybe? It taps for all four colors of mana, and it's a common that doesn't cost a lot of money. Uh-oh. <laughs> and when I cast a creature, I get to scry one. It's fantastic. Oh, I didn't realize. Dream alive. Oh, I thought it had to be the same creature type to get the. No, it does. Out. No, it does. I I think I I can't scry on anything. Never mind. It's a five color land. Uh, uh, That's yeah, good it's a, for it's me. It's a tap land command tower, which is actually actually great. I should start playing that more often. Yeah. Oh, 
It was stuck in At my... the very least. But it could also be thopters or mirrors. I'm excited. Hey, it could be anything. Could, could even be, be a boat. Could be a boat. <laughs> no one knows. Um, all right. Well, slightly better path to ah. history if you're not pulling <laughs> tribal. Command tower. Um, and I'll go for a wafer's bubble. Oh, I should have put that in this deck. It's a good card. It's a good card. Slightly more expensive rampant growth, but uh, in a four-color deck, sometimes you don't have that green mana available. Ooh, man. Well, let's play this. Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) This is eerily similar to the... I'm getting flashbacks to the one time. (laughs) One time you commandeered my turn one mana crypt and then strip mined my only land. I almost built, but I couldn't get it finished in time. Uh, uh, my a resolution deck based on being a better friend. Oh gosh, does that mean just uh, but... killing me immediately? Is that what it means? <laughs> no, I was really gonna try to be nice, like a real friend. I don't, but even, I don't even. I gave up on that, that. And decided to cast Flitter Step Eidolons instead. <laughs> Makes that sense. That's more appropriate. Ooh, I'm gonna play Man of Dark and it draws me right? cards. I'm excited. Neat. Yeah. I've never gotten to play these before, and it felt like this would be a good time to try them out, you know? I've never even seen these. Are there, are there ones for every pair? Or just yeah. allies? Allies only. They're, they're the original eggs. That's where the egg deck gets its name from, is a yeah. cycle of artifacts. Oh. oh, I didn't even know that. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm flooding out. Punished. <laughs> <laughs> I'm flooding out with tap lands too. <laughs> oh dear. I mean, at least you have good mana fixing, right? Oh yeah, I'm super jealous. Well, the plan of uh, out the gates looking scary <laughs> has already failed. There's wow. Well, That's an impressive start. Everyone has the equal life total, so I'm not sure who to attack. But I oh. have to attack because that's. I guess Tom has dark water he, he has so artifacts. he's winning. You can <laughs> you start taking has all more artifacts. artifacts out. <laughs> you played a permanent Tom, so it's coming have, to you. I have, well, I have an island now, so. <laughs> oh, hey! Yes, yes. You're welcome. Leave that alone. I can't. I mean, I can't uh, 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 interact with her at all right now. So, well, enjoy yourself. Ooh. I just Seven more mana and soul ring. Ooh. Yidris is a good card. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yidris is a very good card. Who's ready for some chaos? Not me. Oh. What kind of chaos are we talking? Are you just yeah, going to storm seems out of like us? Someone <laughs> killing. <laughs> the no. chaos I'm talking about is storm. <laughs> well, I mean. A storm is very chaotic, you would say. Oh, boy. It's... And these boots are very spooky. <laughs> it's chaotic boots. <laughs> Ooh, right, Savannah. Hey. I hey, love, like, fact. the moto... Yeah, the motor prices are so out of whack. Savannah is cheaper than, say, the modern Fastlands. Oh, yeah. Uh, sometimes cheaper than certain temples, I believe. So, actually... It's cheaper only, than only the, the non blue land. ones. Only the, the blue ones are kind of expensive. All right, you can take my soul ring. Oh, uh, no. I'm getting hit. I figure you have For the one. most artifacts, so I should probably see what You're goodies correct. you have. Wait, you used to get to play it? Oh, boy. Well, he has to cast it, still. I do have to spend mana for it. Well, oh, man, the there's ring. even lands? I can, can I cast? Is you get cast artifact lands. Oh, uh, wait, let's see what it says. Play! Yeah, you can oh, play an artifact. Oh, so I could land. play a land if I wanted to. Wow, that's so many. Uh, wow, that's really good. I could also just take your combo pieces. <laughs> no, like Etherflux Reservoir. That might. Oh man, Ironworks. What is going on over there, Tom? I'm super scared. I'm sure <laughs> a Crackline Ironworks is never used for combos. No, it's yeah, totally just like normal. Astronaut's Altar. It's never nothing used for combos. dangerous. Happens There's no there. Astronaut's Altar in this deck. I'll tell you that. I wasn't. Didn't want to be that awful of a person temple bell's fun yeah well i guess we just gotta do <laughs> fun did you see this temple bell? Oh, yeah. of course of course <laughs> just take the soul ring so it's probably where were never we wrong. on where were we on soul ring we were talking about maybe getting rid of it so maybe not it's a good point hmm. oh if you detain me i don't think it stops your 
It does. Stop, oh, right? you it have does. to deal, deal damage, don't yeah. you? I yeah, you will do. kill your entire board state this turn, though. Really? Well, then yeah. it sounds like a good idea to really stop his Yidris from activating. Well, how are you going to kill my entire Tomer? Can't we be friends? Oh, boy. It started so early. <laughs> Is this is turn four. I heard uh, four friends. Am I being detained? You, you gotta get the whole <laughs> life out. Get the anyway. Am I, I being detained? I can't let you just combo off with Yidris. All right, you do. You yeah. do what you gotta do then. I mean, if you if you let him, he'll he'll wipe the board and cast a cascade and, spell. Yeah, and cascade. <laughs> like it doesn't sound like there's a better option. That's true. I expect you'll wrath my board anyway. All right. Oh, so. No. Is a You're legend detained. Guy. All right, and I got a soul ring, so that's all I wanted. I've already won. <laughs> Winning is half the battle. You should strip my total for good measure. <laughs> <laughs> it's the the preemptive retaliation. <laughs> it already hurts. If he, if he rests the board, I might have to, so he can't recast his commander. Oh my goodness! Well, oh, when you cast your scry. commander, you get to scry. That's why Path of Ancestry is so good. Yeah, because your commander is your creature type. So many strong. Oh commanders. yeah, it doesn't share a creature type with. Uh, has it be a human? Yeah, yeah I don't have any other humans, but uh, my so commander is human. Thopters. Aw. Well. Uh. Ooh, these are fun cards. Well, I did say I was gonna wipe your board, Seth. Really? You actually, have a one-sided wipe. A little bit. Yeah, Henny's expertise. Oh. Ah, no. Yeah. Goodbye, Thopters. Whee. It's been nice. And then... Well, strip mine. Incoming. Let's also <laughs> play this. Well, I feel chaotic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! I hate Later, you so chaos! Much. No! No! At the beginning of your upkeep, flip a coin. If you lose a flip, sack oh, it. Whenever no. a player casts a spell, a player flips a coin. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, flashbacks to season no. one. Is this oh, what you wanted, no. YouTube? Is this oh. what you wanted? <laughs> oh, now shit. you have it. Should I even well, play into this? This is what now you we, wanted. Now we have to kill Tomer. <laughs> well, there's no not playing into it, is there? Well, I, I mean, I guess for, you wait till you I wait, eventually... Yeah, I wait for it to go away and then play my cards. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, ha, ha. <laughs> All right, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. So I just flip a coin. If I lose counter, oh, too bad Cavern of Souls isn't uh, budget friendly. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I hate you, Tomer. <laughs> yep, <laughs> Why would I you? hate me too. <laughs> Flip it, let's see. Tomer's like, Flip I it. agree. <laughs> what is it? Tails never fails or <laughs> tails always fails? What is the expression? <laughs> I think it's always fails. <laughs> Heads right. always wins. <laughs> I'm going heads. Oh my god. Heads <laughs> always wins. Uh, yes, tails it wins never for me. Fails. Gotcha. It wins for me, Richard. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I shouldn't be well. laughing because I'm in the same position. I know. Everything about this is awful. <laughs> we need crows and grip. <laughs> Someone crows and grip this. Oh no, I'm the only one that can be. It wouldn't even work. It could still be countered. Can well, I'm not casting anything. I'm going to see if... Do Planner triggers chaos. happen if you split second? Yeah, it's just a trick. Yeah, I think so. Oh, boy. All right. Boros Cluestone. Let's see if you get countered. Going to go with heads here. Hmm. Heads always wins. No. Good point. It does. I chose yeah. heads. <laughs> All right. Then with the Cluestone, <laughs> I'm going to cast Faithless Looting. Ooh. So, like, works both ways. Yep. Gonna go with heads again. Get two shots. Lost the flip. Eh. Okay. Can't attack Tomer because he has a 5 4. Whee! So I'm gonna. Actually, yeah, no, I'm just gonna pass. Your turn, Tomer. <laughs> All right, lose the flip. Come on. Heads always wins. Come on. Oh, go. oh lost. Thank oh. God. Oh, oh, oh. Jeez, we got, we got bailed. Kill... <sighs> all, right, all, all right, all right, all right, all right. Well, I guess I'm attacking. Yeah. All right. I'll strip mine you if you attack me, Tomer. <laughs> <laughs> so you better attack someone else. <laughs> Wait, what is this if new rivulet? 
Why are you milling people? It's very suspicious. It's just a, a desert. I have scavenger grounds uh -oh. for graveyard hate, so it's just a, a desert. Should we believe <sighs> that or no? Really? <laughs> Tomer, do you really want me to strip mine your command tower? I think he, he does. does. He does not want no, that land. No, I'm attacking Richard. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to strip mine your command tower. <laughs> you don't have a strip mine. What if I draw Chris one? Chris is bonkers. It is what it is, then. <clears throat> well, I'm pretty far away from getting Threshold on this. So I'm just going to cast it now. Get it? F far away? I got I, Yes. Far Wandering! <laughs> See? It has oh, far in word. it. Oh, I get Secure Tribe Elder. Oh, oh my what god. A day, what this a day, was the greatest rap spell ever. <laughs> Are you countering my Sakura Tribe Elder? <laughs> you monster. Uh, probably not. I was thinking about it. Oh, you need the overload counter spell. Um, what do I want now? Let's get a swamp. Only the best art swamps. We really do have to deal with the Idris, so this is not going to get any better. No, I agree. I don't have an answer, though, right now. Uh, sack some thopters. What thopters? Make some thop Sack your clue stone in your obelisk. You can do it, Tom. You can save the day. <laughs> no, he only needs to do. He only has to sacrifice. Oh no, he has to sacrifice just two. two just two things. Yeah, yeah just two things. Don't worry, things. it's fine. Just your two mana sources. It's fine. You don't need them. All right, increasing devotion. Ooh. Hey, that's a real card. I love that card. I asked card. Seth what to cut from my deck because I spent an hour trying to cut cards and he said increasing devotion and then I promptly ignored him. Good. <laughs> but that's how you know wrong. when a card you want to keep, you really want to keep. If you said it's a card that you don't like, then you'd be like, yeah, but increasing devotion is awesome. I'm like, just five humans is so much value. And then ten humans. That is a lot of humans. Really weird art, though. <sighs> All right, I guess we'll keep doing the passing the turn thing. Wait, what? Mm. what, what I thought you were an attacking deck, Seth. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Someone wrath my board. For you didn't no flash in <laughs> a flyer. <laughs> no reason. Mono blue aggro, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> no good reason. <laughs> oh, you knew the consequences. This seems scary. That's a lot of mana. That's a lot of mana. He's Four. using all of it. More mana! Ooh. Dreamstone, Hedron. And that's gonna cast a really annoying card to have to deal with for the rest of the game. Grinding Station! Sacrifice, an artifact. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, here's the other combo piece, I assume. Uh oh. Are we gonna Grinding get comboed Station? out? No. Does this go infinite? It can. It goes infinite with stuff. Not Nothing with. on the battlefield. Okay. It's actually just going to be battle, super yeah. annoying for me. Yeah, all I the triggers. I hate playing with this card, but it's it's decent in the deck. And, um... Well, Tomer's going to find an excuse to attack me here anyways. So I'm going to leave back Brea. So I can block. Yum. First, let me get... Ooh, I like the ninth edition island. Yeah, I wonder, it's very colorful. Deals, casts from your spells. He doesn't even need to be alive for the fun stuff to happen, does he? Um, I no. think yeah. so, mm -hmm. right? He does, right? Because how would the game know that that... Uh, I think it's just a trigger. When it but, triggers but, and then but, the rest of the... But there's no permanent to trigger. It has to be alive. We'll find I would out. assume it has to be alive. Yeah, just attack Seth. Are you planning One, on two, killing three, it? Three, four, five, six, seven. I don't want to attack into Seth's empty board when he when he has counter magic and probably bounce spells. Yeah, that, that's wise. And strip mine. One, don't forget five, the strip six, mine. <laughs> hmm. All right. Bow. Yeah. 
I guess we'll find out together. I think it will work this way. No. Oh. Let's see. If there's a trigger, it should be fine. We all learn about MG. We all learn about magic every single time we play. Yeah, you should be fine. Yeah, that probably will work. Probably will work. All right. I want to see if Seth can counter this. Oh, that's a lot of banner. Too much bad. Oh, Jesus. yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. yeah. What a days. great chaos deck you have here. <laughs> this seems like You'll a see what I flip deck. into. Oh, oh Jesus no. Christ. Are, are you still, are you still uh, wondering if it's, a, if it's a chaos deck, you guys? No. Okay. Huh? Seth, can you counter knowledge pool, please? <laughs> I'm asking for. I'm asking as a friend. <laughs> so here's the thing about knowledge pool. It's the worst. It also prevents you from countering stuff for the rest of the game. But I'm playing a lot of Slither Blades. If you're not familiar with Slither Blade, it's a one-one unblockable for one mana. <laughs> and I kind of like the idea that I might get good cards from your decks when I cast them. <laughs> <laughs> this is New let Year's it, resolution. You're supposed it. to play your own deck. Oh my god! Let it, let it happen. <laughs> also, you have no idea how awful the board state looks when a knowledge pool resolves. Like everything gets super small, and it's just unreadable. It, this is There's what you so two many wanted. Cascades, though. I know, I, but what could be this worse than knowledge one, pool? What could be worse? <laughs> You'll find out. <sighs> I think knowledge pool is pretty up okay, there. Here's the thing. Making the game. Are the cascades going to trigger the knowledge pool too? Uh, yes. No, from his or her Remember hand. Cast a spell oh, from his or her hand. Yeah, it won't. Okay, good. I can still cast my commander. So I really have to counter it? Is that where <laughs> is that? If you have counter spells, they are legitimately useless if you don't counter this card. Because instants don't matter anymore. But you could get good value out of this. Oh, Adios. Well. All right. All I right. guess that friendship's All right, over. Let's see what happens worse. Berserker's onslaught. Uh, oh dear. <laughs> Tomer. Ooh. Oh no. Excel. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I still uh, stick with knowledge pool. I believe that's uh, correct. Oh goodness! All okay. right, I think I went out on this, right? Because <laughs> I have the least permanents. So exile all non-token permanents. Oh, you get it to keep your even... tokens. <sighs> this is dumb. Well, there's nothing good. We just would rearrange our lands, pretty Basically. much. Basically, yeah. No. Wait, are you, you going to counter it yourself? Oh yes! I'm just not gonna cast it. Why would oh, I? Oh, oh, you don't have to cast it. Oh boy. Yeah. If it was a, I, if it was a more cluttered board state, I 100 percent would. I did like this the main phase two Maelstrom Wanderer that just happened. Well, I didn't know that Berserker's onslaught would show up. And you wanted the Yidris. I cascade. wanted the Yidris yeah. trigger. Like I said, it is a chaos deck. the The point isn't to beat you over the face with Wanderer. Uh, so. The Berserker's Onslaught is so I can get double the triggers off Yidris. So I can Cascade twice. And that's no. double the Chaos spells I can get from. I've heard a story like this before. <laughs> so his Yidris will come in with haste. Double strike. And he can he's dealing 12, 24 damage. <laughs> oh boy. How do we stop this? Also, all of his creatures have haste because of Maelstrom Wanderer. Yep. I don't have an answer in my hand to Maelstrom Wanderer. I will tell you that right now. Hmm. I don't really have anything either. I thought I would be coming out of the gates swinging, <laughs> but uh, so I don't have that many wraths and whatnot. <laughs> Swing aggressive? Ooh, that is aggressive. Hero Blade Hold. And then we'll pass. Okay. Honestly, Seth, as of right now, I'm probably just casting my commander during my next turn, so. Yeah. To expect. Do you have enough mana to cast your commander and kill Yidris? Uh, no. 
Is it? Does my commander give negative four, negative four? Jesus! Maybe. Yeah, Bray is very, very good <laughs> we, we against We talked about Yidris. this. Bray, Bray just like counters Yidris yeah. when we did I the I think you do have enough mana. Oh, I do have enough mana. Okay, pay, cool. Pay two, target Yidris dies. That's how it works. All right, well, then that's a thing. So do whatever you want, Seth, I guess. I don't know. All right, well, I countered the knowledge pool, so... You did do that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this turn to overtap and play my commander. <laughs> I will kill your thought, Adele, instead if you try and attack me. I won't attack you. Okay, thank you. Not <laughs> this turn, at least. That's fair. Well, you can't this turn. Well, as in, like... Not this coming, but my turn. next attack... Yeah. My next turn, I won't attack you. I appreciate that greatly. Uh, assuming you deal with Yidris and make us <laughs> not die. <laughs> Plus, Tomer has an island now, so I can steal his chaos artifacts. Everybody does realize the grinding station is just there for a combo piece, right? Just throwing it out there. Mm -hmm. So, Tom's yeah. going to just combo off and kill every well, mill everybody to death at, like, at some point. Uh, you should chaos warp it. If I draw it. <laughs> oh, Crocklaw and Ironworks. Also, is he? Is Tom just going to win this turn? I'm not sure. Well, that sounds yeah, like a yes. That's what I figured. <laughs> that's what oh, I, I did figured. that wrong. I gotta turn off all auto yields. Uh -oh. There was there that's was a reason a why <laughs> there was a reason why I was attacking Tom because I know how Brea works. <sighs> yeah, I can't really do anything about this. E O. Nope. There it is. Mm -hmm. Well, not not quite yet. I don't think we're quite dead yet. Oh, you're going eggs. Are you going eggs? Yeah. Second there's... sun. Yeah. If there's like a mastery animation spell, then we're the then there's we're a dead. big there's a big issue though, which is. The mastery animation spell I have brings back both Planner Chaos and Knowledge Pool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh really, it's really, is it really open really the big vaults? issue. Is it open mm, the vaults? Yeah. Oh, okay. And to I get back my Flitter Step Eidolon. Ha ha. <laughs> to Tomer is actually our savior here. You're welcome. Baby? You're welcome. I wonder if eggs can just combo through it. I don't think I can comp. I mean. I can do a lot, and I can make a lot of mana, but I don't think I can get through Planner Chaos. I have to get real lucky. So I'm trying to figure out what the next step for me is. I think it's start with... Oh, Planner Chaos. <laughs> oh, man. That's so good. Start with looting. Get rid of these two. Play a land. Ooh, Forge Master. Yeah, if uh, I can find a haste, we might be able to get through everything. We're going to find out together. Open the vaults. Uh, okay. Hey there, Knowledge Pool. Let's all have fun together now. Hey. <laughs> Let me borrow uh, y'all's cards. It was only a turn ago Tom made me counter it. I know. And now you're reanimating it. Okay, I've got Crystal Ball. I mean, Tomer's got Just Lands. Yeah, it's got lands. Zatha, Necromancer, Bruce Tarl, Phantom Warrior, Lily Sandbar, and Dowsing Dagger. Okay, I'm so right confused. What, what are these? all these cards that popped up? Knowledge, oh, knowledge Pool enters the library, er, enters the battlefield. Each player exiles the top three cards of his or her library, which we did. Whenever a player casts a spell from his or her hand, that player exiles it. If the player does, he or she may cast another non-land card exiled with Knowledge Pool. But so where are my cards? Tom I can't can, find my cards. Oh, I see. should be like exiled lands, somewhere on your thing. Yeah. I see. So Tom can cast a spell and then choose any spell that has been exiled. Well, cast a spell, it gets exiled, and then he chooses any other spell uh, exiled by Knowledge Pool and casts it for free. Including other players' spells. But it doesn't really help him because we all hit garbage. Yeah, I noticed that too. So he still has to fight through the planar chaos. What's we actually I don't think I do. I mean if you could go oh, in, cast a spell. If you if you can cast a spell infinitely, then eventually it resolves. Wait, if you cast a spell, can you just exile it with knowledge pool first before the planar chaos? You can, yeah, but I don't think it helps. 
Well, doesn't Knowledge Pool just beat Planar Chaos? Is that what's happening? Yeah, does it? Does so. the player chaos just not exist? If you have I infinite think you can mana, counter the next thing though. That's the problem. Mm. Well, like you'll run out of spells. Oh, to cast. I see. The, the thing you cast from under knowledge pool gets hit. Oh, by planar chaos. yeah. I guess planar chaos doesn't save from hand. Yeah, the planar chaos actually. Okay, let's hope this works. Oh, thank God. Ah, uh, boo. Yeah, that's. I guess it's tutor for whatever he wants. So you get to play your commander through it. It just goes to knowledge. Goes. Well, you want knowledge, knowledge pool doesn't touch Berea. It's from your hand. Oh. I think we just leave it here, and we pass, because I see what's in the knowledge pool, and I'm not super worried. Well, that's not good. Hopefully, you lose this planar chaos slip. So we have, like, maybe one turn to figure something out? Uh, uh, flip bad, Tomer. Uh, <laughs> okay. Thank God. Now we just need to deal with Tom. But we yeah. can't because of knowledge pool. <laughs> so, Tomer, you cast something that deals with Tom. Cast something good, and then, and then yeah, we gotta team up. <laughs> I'll, I'll I have... Uh, so he can kill Yidris. <clears throat> Um, can he? Does he have mana there? What does he have? Oh, he has the ironworks. Yeah. Um. Although I can't currently see the thing that I want to destroy, which is kind of funny. It's underneath the swamp crystal ball and crystal. Vein. I can. I can. Um. I have a dragon mage. I can wheel us. Uh. Okay. But I, I can't attack Tom with it, so somebody will have to. Wait. Take can that. you attack with Yidris? I mean, you get rid of his blockers. He will uh, sacrifice two artifacts and kill it. And yeah, they'd either be creatures. He has which... to he has to he has to sacrifice one artifact and then sacrifice two more artifacts to activate Brea right now. Yeah, so he he loses three artifacts. He loses three artifacts, but he has three artifacts to, to lose. He has burnished heart and three th and three thopters. Yeah, or but two that lets me get damage in. I mean, I don't know what else are you gonna do. I could Dragon Mage and wheel us, and maybe you'll get an answer in your hand. I have no answers in my deck. <laughs> I don't have any answers in my hand? I don't have... I don't know. Hmm. All right, I'm just going to play Yidris and make him sacrifice free. Well, you also hit him with Maelstrom Wanderer, too. Yeah. Right? I don't know if and that's I... going to be enough. Or should but... we wheel? And... Is that... Wait, so... Wait, I can only deal 5, 6, 7, 14, 17... Tomer stuff has double strike. Thirty it does four, but it doesn't have trample, right? It does have trample. Well, oh, my creatures are unblockable. Wait, what? What's unblockable? My creatures. <laughs> so if that three damage helps, or actually one, <laughs> since I said I wouldn't attack. Because I, I can Saskia as well, Ooh. right? Saskia doubles up my damage on Tom. Maybe we can just kill Tom. If yeah, he I think have anything. we can kill him. Okay, we'll, we'll Maybe, try the, the kill Tom Depending route. on what he keeps. I think that's fair. If you play eggs, you gotta expect people to try to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Come on, Yidris. Um, yeah, that's why. Wait, do you have a hasty creature or anything in there, Seth? Uh... No. <laughs> you you might be able to find like a board wipe inside Tom's deck and artifact, but Nevdis comes un uh, comes into play tapped. Um, so I'm not sure. Uh, if only Maelstrom Wanderer had trample. Yeah. <laughs> Tom's been very quiet. I feel like he has something and. All these plans are for nothing. Well, you, well, you, 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 you don't have anything to, to do. Figure out what the correct answer is. <laughs> if yeah. he has it, he has it. What are we gonna do about it? If he survives this turn, he wins. Wait, does he win though? He doesn't, right? 
He, needs... um, he can tutor up any artifact he needs with Kadotha Forge Master. He has Grounding Station and Cracklands Ironworks. He just needs basically a way to recur a creature, Brea, essentially. Mm-hmm. And then he wins the game. It seems likely that he'll be able to put it together. Yeah. I mean, he has two combo pieces already. He just needs the last one, and he has a tutor for it. Not that I'm going to concede until Tom actually goes through the motions, because... <laughs> I would like to put it out there. That's half the reason I chose Eggs as my combo deck. <laughs> <laughs> and we can talk about something else for the next 30 minutes. It'll be fun. Because you never know. Eggs can always stall out. <laughs> yup. <laughs> Or you could stack <laughs> triggers incorrectly, like someone. I've never seen that happen before. Or forget to attack with the right one. Or <laughs> so many options. Ooh, you have... Hmm. You have Bruce Tarl, too. Yeah, you could give the creature <sighs> double strike. That's not as good as Saskia, though, right? Saskia's better. Uh, <clears throat> Saskia's not. basically double damage. Yeah. yeah. Not even basically, Saskia is double damage. And it does, you don't have to worry about it doing something with knowledge pull either. Yeah, so. remember anything you cast in your hands, you're going to have to exile immediately with knowledge pool, and then you'll get garbage. <laughs> Wait, so, so I can get a Bruce Tarl if I just cast anything, right? Yeah, anything gives you Bruce Tarl. I yeah. can't or, see my land. Crystal Ball. Anyone know what land is under my... <laughs> Uh, oh, I do. One sec. You've got it area. looks like a temple, temple of money. But you you can get my smoldering marsh, right? Oh wait, but he can kill anything as well, still, right? It, it's it's a lot of cost for me to kill something else here. I'd be down to forge master and no artifacts. But no, That's you'd have likely. you'd have to sacrifice three artifacts, so you'd still have prayer or something. Yeah, I think that's. Good, right? Okay, so we will first... Yeah, it might, it might stop him from winning the game next turn. Can I cast Saskia? What is going on? What is this land here? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, that is that. This is this. You also have, I think, I don't know if you can play lands with Knowledge Pool. Cast another, you can't. Never mind. Yeah, I think right. you just gotta play your own. Yeah. Alright, Saskia... Hey girl. Mm, I forgot to do this last turn. I'm bad. What? what could are you have, doing? I, I could have cast a different spell, but whatever. <laughs> do either of you have any good artifacts in your deck that would matter with my Thada? Mm, let me check. I don't think so. Um Do you have any hate cards, Toma, or chaos cards that would in in artifact? No, I have gates of the Aether, but that doesn't stop him from comboing off. Hmm. Okay, so I Bruce Tarl, and then yeah. Wait, so his Bray can actually kill my stuff? This this kind of sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, I can't click. I can't click my land. Oh my god. (laughs) <laughs> what? I yes, have... the plan all along. <laughs> uh, I wish I could take. I wish you could see this. I have to like move one pixel right of Xanthar Decomancer. Oh, <laughs> That's no. the only way I can click my land. Just photo things. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Uh, you can play something else. Pretty sure I just take the boost tarot. Uh, I don't see anything better. Wait, how do I cast it? Okay, cast. Target creature. Gains double strike. I would pick the... Oh. I don't know. Is it Hero or Saskia? Because he's going to kill one of them. Yeah, I'm going to choose Hero. If he wants to sack his whole board, then uh, I guess. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, okay, hold on. Back to my standard days. <laughs> uh, I want to click on the when this creature attacks. Each other attacking creature gets plus one, plus zero first. Yeah, so it'll happen last. So the other part will happen first. All right. Uh, let choose a person or Very good. to attack. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of damage. It's a dumb amount of damage. 
Okay. I guess I can. Ooh. Let me make the count. How uh, lethal is this? What I really wanted was that Berserker's onslaught. I, I wish that Thieves <laughs> auction went through. <laughs> 16. It, you would have went yeah, through if there was lethal. more than okay. one permanent on the board that was worth anything. <laughs> then I would have let it happen. All right, all right, all right. That's oh, not... Only 14? Because he killed Sasuke. With... Uh, yeah. Uh, ugh. It's all to uh, you, Seth. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't think I can... I don't think I can do this. Because of knowledge pool, really. Well, you can take a combo piece out, but his only combo piece left is like a... Uh... Recursion, right? That's what he wants. Well, he he left. He let Brea go to the graveyard, so he can yeah. like tutor some recursion with Kadotha Forge Master. But then he loses everything, and if he casts something, he doesn't really get anything relevant from from exile. So maybe we stopped him. Yeah, I don't know what I can do here. I don't think that's a good answer. I feel so bad about this, but I think I have to attack Tom. When I Seth. said I wouldn't attack Seth, Tom, seriously? that was... I didn't seriously? realize you were playing eggs. <laughs> Contracts I, I played an egg at the beginning don't... of the game. Did you not see Grinding Station? Was I the <laughs> only Wait, one? Yeah, you, you saw his full deck. Yeah. <laughs> one, of my, one of my biggest flaws as a Magic player is I assume everyone is playing Jank all the time. <laughs> and then they combo me off. I figured it was just like for fun, grinding station. <laughs> what? In what world is joking? grinding station in, a in fun my world. card? In oh my world. My uh, should, should we strip you know? my Tom oh for good gosh. measure? Do you think just... he's really. <laughs> really uh... Actually, my real New Year's resolution was to break more of my promises in game. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm doing wow. it. <laughs> wow. 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 Oh man, you don't even have good artifacts. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I've realized this. <laughs> you just have <sighs> eggs. I'm yeah, take an egg. This. I dare you. <laughs> Seriously, none of this stuff is helpful. I agree. <laughs> if it's cast, does it get cast? So what is it? Where so all you do is you exile it with knowledge pool, essentially, so Tom can get it afterwards. That's not good. What am I scared of? Mm-hmm. What are we scared of? Damage, search the player's library for an artifact card and exile well, it. You could just exile oh, it. Oh yeah, not, you could just don't play it. it I don't know. I don't know his. Deck. I don't know his deck list. I I'm aware of eggs combo. I don't know how all the pieces though. It's very confusing and it doesn't work well with knowledge pool in play. <laughs> good. <laughs> Oh, well, I guess he I only has that. he only has two. Yeah, that's pieces. probably a good a good call. That seems like a way that uh, it would probably be easy to die. Card. You yeah, can strip fair. minus path of ancestry. I swear, cut to his God. colors off. <laughs> and then comment here's next spell. <laughs> uh, wait, what? Did you, what? What? Why didn't that go into the? Oh, because it's not cast from. That's hand. not from oh. my hand. So. Hey, y'all watch out. Oh. Clever. Yeah. <sighs> I'm not going to strip mine. I need my lands. <laughs> if you can combo from here, then... Watch then watch Tom combo he with exact will. Combos from here. One yeah. mana. Well, this is where I play mana, guys. Here. <laughs> hmm. Things are, things... All right. Time to check out the deck and see if there's an answer to this. Step one, destroy the reservoir. Step two, mass, pull back everything. I don't know. Hmm. Knowledge pool is This is going to take a quick second, I'm going to be honest. Because through the magic of editing, Tom remember, like a genius. Yeah, through the magic of editi- editing, Tom <laughs> figures out what he's trying to do. lines of play. In five seconds. Remember when Richard said he'd be the arch enemy of this game? <laughs> yeah, you got you guys screwed by New Year's resolution. Come on. He's <laughs> just like he's just slowly amassing a board. 
doing the exact same thing. <laughs> this does seem like a typical Richard deck. Hey, hey, it's not my fault my deck didn't cooperate. <laughs> I didn't get champion of the parish into Thalia. <laughs> <laughs> what did you end up cutting? Uh, Just uh, random humans? Bygone Bishop. Uh, okay, that makes sense. Sounds like it's not a human. And if I... I don't have that many small drops, so if I draw it late, it might not be useful. Hmm. Okay, we're going to start with this. Uh oh Tom figured it out. I didn't figure it out. I have to do multiple different things because of stupid knowledge pool. Yeah! I have to actually sacrifice pool. an artifact for free because of stupid <laughs> knowledge pool. And then do it again. Because, oh, I didn't even think about that part. Oh, that's much worse. Knowledge oh, no. pool. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. oh, you have to double sacrifice. This got even worse. <laughs> I can't even yeah. tell what's on your battlefield anymore. Just a, uh, an ironworks and a forge master. I guess oh, yeah. now I have to play this stupid crystal ball. I forgot. I couldn't even play dragon mage last turn because of knowledge pool. <laughs> oh, <laughs> knowledge pool. <laughs> uh, Are you happy, YouTube? Is this, is now this we'll one of the cards you like? And that's going to turn into trash for treasure. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have to sacrifice again? Yeah. I truly don't know. Yep. Yeah, you have to cast a spell. <laughs> this is so oh, that's so brutal. So dumb. Wait, what did that's so brutal. Uh, oh, well, he's crystal. getting there. Yeah. I mean, he has a Brea. He can tutor. But he's out of artifacts, though. That's true. He still has two. I know he can tutor for stuff that gets artifacts back from the graveyard. Or a artifact. But not back to play. Not in the play, though. It goes in my hand. Oh. And then guess what's still in play? <laughs> oh, you're right. It is. Oh, oh the knowledge geez. pool. <laughs> Yay! Who needs uh, graveyard hate when you got knowledge pool? <laughs> This is the one time I'm happy the knowledge pool is on a board, by the way. It is kind of keeping us alive somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Tom did not build eggs in anticipation of knowledge pool. Just, just. Can I, I also, control Zetus? I don't want to like, do this now. I'm like positive I can't none of us have graveyard hate too. I for sure do not. This if is knowledge pool wasn't in play, I'm pretty sure I could win this game right now. But I can't. So I think you would have won last turn. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Instead, we're going to take Mind Slaver. And we're just going to okay. make Tomer feel my pain. And we're going to borrow Tomer's next turn. Have fun. <laughs> I'm going to try my best. <laughs> this is clearly the answer. Like, I'm dead next turn, so let's have fun with your turn. <laughs> I may kill. Oh, yes, I do want to cast it for its miracle class. Are you kidding? It's not in my oh. hand, is it? I don't know oh. how this works. No, it is, in your, it hand. is in your hand. It is in your hand. Oh, whatever. We're still casting it. It's got to be correct. Is it? I don't know what happened. And I would like can... to mention that Tomer is certainly playing Storm. <laughs> in case you were wondering. I did, Storm, like... I did say I had wind conditions in the deck. Oh. Remember in my intro? It's a chaos deck, but it has wind conditions. Did not really? lie. Storm versus eggs. That's what we're doing this week. <laughs> <laughs> Let's uh, cast this Felwar Stone. Nothing so says I can have here. some more mana. <laughs> this is very good with Empty the Warrens in hand, actually, because now I'm going to get all the triggers off of Empty the Warrens. Oh, wait. Yeah, you put this in your deck for a reason. So now we're going to cast the Empty the Warrens. Wait, are you just helping to trigger? I'm confused. I don't really know what I'm doing right now. <laughs> Tom's going to win. He's just going to win. He's going to win with Tober. So <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I, now we're gonna all get new hands. <laughs> I think at the end. Uh, okay, where'd the Reforce of Soul go? We're gonna cast Reforce of Soul. I think at the end, Richard will probably still win this game. He has the, huge... the board state for it. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. So I'm really just looking for some sort of <laughs> wrath effect. Uh, oh man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> How? What's your life total? Oh, I gotta pay 50 life. Shoot. How close am I to doing that? <laughs> Wait, what? What is going on? Do you have an uh, Aether no, Flex Reservoir as well? Of course. Of course he does! 
Oh, so you can kill Tober and someone in one shot. But he doesn't have enough mana to do that because I cast this Empty the Warrants to get the other card out. Shoot. Oh, wait, you get, oh, we can you get the storm thing. triggers One, and then two, you three, put four, the empty five. under? So you can, like, double storm. What? Is there oh. a oh, there. Oh, But you don't have a two-drop. No. <laughs> you don't have any planes. Dowsing Dagger does nothing. Wait, does it? What does Dowsing Dagger do? Mm, makes mana. You transform it. So no, I it can pay a makes two plants. <laughs> play Reservoir. Makes mana. I can also just indomitable creativity all of my things. What does that do? Wait, that's gonna get no. Nope, doesn't though. do. Doesn't but do it's anything. Only one thing. You only have one artifact. Don't remind me. It's not nice. <laughs> I will remind you, Mister. Oh, into the warrant is still in here. You hold up. Okay. So let's put possibility storm underneath. <laughs> The knowledge pool. Oh boy! Oh no! And then Wait, so that's a hard lock, isn't it? That's a hard lock. That would be yes. So no one should cast this possibility storm. I want to put that out there. Wait, what happens? So if that comes on, no one can play a spell. Yeah, spells are done. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Tomer's an awful person. <sighs> It's going under the pool. This is what you wanted you to. Oh, by the way, I'm not the one who cast it. This is Tom. Yeah, this is all just, me. Just Someone's reminding. Someone's going to cast it. I know. I'm that. only doing this so I can cast Empty the Warrens. <laughs> <laughs> Someone should really kill Tomer. He's awful. Wait, I, have Seth? A, I have a play. Seth has a Oh, counter? you have an instant so you can cast Empty the Warrens instead? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, he's bouncing the rift of the knowledge pool as well. Oh. It, doesn't, it doesn't bounce, but someone else can bounce it. If someone I can't, though. Wait, maybe I can? Who can bounce the... Ri- <laughs> Who's allowed to do this? We'll all find out together. Oh, all no. Right. So now you get the rift. I get no, the, he gets the... No, uh, you get the... Warrens. Empty the warrens. Oh, What's the man. storm count? Does it show on Moto somewhere? Uh, six? Uh, six? <laughs> oh, boy. That's, well, that's not too bad. I have blockers. <laughs> It helps your attacking plan, which wow. you're it very does. good at executing. Wow. <laughs> yeah. This gives me a little protection if someone decides they want to end the game by casting Possibility Storm. A little bit of protection. You have, what, like 18, 20 power on the board? A little bit of protection, you guys. Oh, <laughs> Richard has a big board, too. Uh, see, it has to be a non permanent I don't control, but technically I control this knowledge pool. Which is the worst of all the options. Wait, wait, oh, because you're Tomer. Because I'm hey. Tomer right now. Hey. Uh, <laughs> wait, what's Tom doing? I'm, I'm going to so bring this Aetherflux Reservoir back to my hand. Oh. You can't bounce the knowledge pool because, yeah. Oh, no, no, he, he, has Tomer's no, turn. he has the reservoir again. Well, Tom I'm doesn't dying. have much going on right now. I have I zero cards in play. Is Tom even a threat Tom anymore? A threat. Yeah. No. This is how he wins because we'll just ignore him for a bit and then he'll combo. Exactly. I'm just gonna send everything at Richard and see what happens. Rawr! <sighs> if I had more mana to do something, I would. I don't. Well, this was fun. I had I enjoyed my last turn. Yeah, mind oh, slaver is pool. very fun. Knowledge pool with storm cards. That's actually really interesting. I I haven't noticed that interaction before. That is pretty sweet. Yeah. Ugh. I liked it too. I liked it too. <laughs> it's okay this is what you wanted to do right tomer this is pretty much how i wanted to turn <clears throat> tom to can behave, tomer yeah. win next turn <laughs> uh tomer can hard lock everybody actually if anyone casts possibility storm it's a hard lock with knowledge pool so i can't win next turn Two. so no yeah i don't think you can win next turn no uh no Describe how I would win, win next turn. I don't know what you can get off this. Should I take card. fourteen off this Maelstrom Water to keep <laughs> Bruce Tarl? Like I think I do want to do that. Yeah. Oh, I don't know what to do the turn on my turn. Give something else double strike and have fun. Who? Who's scary? 
I, mean, I kind of like this knowledge fool, but not really. <laughs> you know who has the most goblin tokens to play right now? Yeah, I can't Sam. do anything about that. <laughs> what am I, I going to do either. about that? <laughs> I just wanted us all to have a new hand. What is this game? <laughs> the, did you have a way to win through the hard lock, Tomer? Like, do you have a way built into your deck? I literally put knowledge pool because it is a chaos card. <laughs> so that was he, it. He does. Because he has storm spells. So he could eventually hit a storm spell and go from there. Uh, I guess I guess that does make sense. Yep. Well, I have two storm spells. I have Mind's Desire, which doesn't win me the game. But I also have the the goblin one, which would win me the game. And then I have Aetherflex Reservoir, which is not a storm card per se, but it works in the same way. Hmm. But yeah, the so reason, Saskia the way, the way the card worked, the deck worked, is I threw in just a bunch of six. chaos cards, and I was like, I'm at 95 cards. <laughs> Maybe I'll throw in some stuff that interacts or win me the game. <laughs> Boom! Couple storm cards, a little bit of spice, and everything nice, and there you go. Can I kill Tomer? Seven. He's tapped out for a reason. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Wait. Oh, I hate I hate Hero Blade Hold Math. Seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four. I think I can just kill Tomer. I have a request though. Can you exile the graveyard? How? <laughs> Just, do you have a bajuka bog? Anything? Because no. you, you know Tom's is going to find a recursion spell, and then he's going to win the game. I have one artifact in play. And as someone who got mind slavered by Tom, yeah, I did. would like for Tom well, not to combo off this game. I'm just throwing it out there. Do be one can, solid. Can I just kill Tom? I think, yeah, I can't. Tom's just kill me. And then me and Richard <laughs> battle it out for... The win. I, I'm fine with that. Per usual. I'm uh, fine with that. Alright, that sounds like a plan. <laughs> oh, I hate tapping for Saskia with... Actually, wait, 14, game. 15, 16, 17? I have 17 points of damage. Are you gonna kill me, Seth? <laughs> I'm not gonna kill you, but Tom's at 18. Oh, that is lethal. Mm. Wait. Okay, hold on. So if I cast Saskia, I might be able to send one thing at uh, Tom or something. <laughs> A lone soldier. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Oh, okay, we gotta, we gotta do real math again. So you can't kill Tom in one shot, right? You have... 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I'm one point 15, of damage 16, short. 16, 17, yeah. Okay, wait. So Saskia gets double strike. <laughs> so Saskia <laughs> goes to 4, 8. Saskia <laughs> deals 16 by herself. Jeez. Yep. Okay. Sasuke damage is a real thing. And then these other guys, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 times 2. Oh, wait, no, I should have more than enough, right? Because they're two ones, so they deal 18 times 2, 36. I'm so You'll confused. Have You've got two more coming two in, ones. too. Yeah, all of your soldiers alone are going to deal 18 damage. So that would put Tomer down to 21. No, they should deal Saskia 36, deals... right? Is it doubled from Saskia? It's doubled from Saskia. Oh, so you have you have mm. 5, 6, 7, you'll have 9 soldiers. Oh, yeah. 9, they deal ones. 18, and then double is 36. So you should deal 36 just from soldiers. Yeah. Then that's not counting Hero, Bruce Tarl. Or Saskia. I will you, say though, yeah, so you, if you, that's your plan, can Seth just swing back? Uh, I'm gonna gain a lot of life. He is gonna gain a lot of life. And okay, what are the odds that Seth and Tom turn on me? <laughs> that seems. I think likely. actually you can just kill Tom and Tomer if you wanted to. What? If your that's soldiers what, are yeah. dealing 36, but they're not. Well, they're, they're only dealing, dealing 36, 36 to. Yeah. They're only dealing that only much. Only to me. To... Oh, I only see. Only to me, because it's, it's targeted Dr. Anime. Well, so. just deal two points of damage to Tom, and I can attack Tom with my board. But you're not going it. to, because I'll just kill you after. You well, don't okay, have a Saskia then. naming me, though. 
Oh, I don't I think you can 42 me without Sasuke on me. Oh, yeah, I guess that's true. Okay. And I can play things from my hand. I trust your good word, but I've seen how this okay. plays out. <laughs> <laughs> You're not playing eggs. you got nothing to worry about. Ouch. <laughs> I just want to, I want to turn with my eggs. I'm fine with this. <laughs> I just want my eggs. Right, you had so. your turn with your eggs. It didn't work out. Yeah, but out. it was a knowledge pool. It was dumb. Well, you know, you know, the saying goes. Who plays knowledge pool? You gotta, you gotta crack some eggs to make a knowledge pool. So I guess I can keep two <sighs> humans back. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to actually die, right? We'll do this. One, two, three, four, four, sixteen, and then Saskia is sixteen as well. Thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine. All right, this should be enough. I don't know if I screw up. Oh well. <laughs> Are you not attacking Tom? <laughs> well, Tom's gonna take the hero blade hold soldiers. What? Right? That should be just enough to kill him, I think. Oh, right. With my damage. Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll just do this because I don't want YouTube to yell at me. <laughs> 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 Alright, I don't know what's going on, but alright, let's do it. Just okay. stack your hero. Now correctly. I gotta stack this correctly. Uh, three triggers. Click, click this first. Right, then I create two tokens. Okay. Yep. And this. And then my biggest thing is Saskia. <laughs> Definitely Saskia, yep. All right. And then I got to click Tom with my soldiers. Just one. No blocks. Same. Okay. Hey, I'm still alive. Does anyone? Oh. <laughs> uh, okay. you're, yeah, you're, you're super overkilled. Yeah, I'm very dead now. Uh, yes, we should have done math. But math is for the week. Yeah, math is too hard. You just click and let Moto sort it out. Seth, can I can I please have a turn? <laughs> no, please. I... I can get rid of the whole board. Think Seth, about it. The board will be going, gone. He's you'll going win. to combo off. Just you'll win. I it. know you'll win, Tom. I know it. I you know don't know it. Seth's hatred of eggs. <laughs> I do hate eggs. It's oh, up I in the Infectron thing. category. Not from Commander, but from, from Modern, mostly. Oh, this Sword of Light and Shadow. Fun. Oh, boy. I... I'm so sad. <laughs> so we did need to attack. Uh... <laughs> Sorry, Tom. No, you're not. <laughs> no one is sorry. <laughs> Everyone right. is happy. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16. Oh, I'm going to lose the soul ring. That's not good. Oh, no. <laughs> That's. I guess that is a reason to keep Tom alive. Could, could you have won, Tom, if we let you untap? I could have gotten a nice amount of life. I don't know if I could have won one. It would have been close. It would have been one of those eggs turns where you're like, I'm not really sure if I can win, but I'm going to try my best to do something. <laughs> you probably would have won then. Those eggs <laughs> turns usually end with winning, I think. All right, Richard. Eventually dirtle into something. Let's see who wins, goblins or humans. That's like a <laughs> right, Google deck. <laughs> Don't forget to kill Seth anyways. My goblins. <laughs> 50. Wait, so you can you need two shots to kill me. Oh boy! Right. I thought you had like a lot of proactive cards in this deck, Richard. I do. I killed like, two people's <laughs> <laughs> I, I What I need is my favorite card, Double Strike Lifelink, but I don't have it in no, my hand. No, true conviction. <laughs> no, I don't have no, it in my conviction. hand. Uh, and Seth has this unblockable sort of light and shadow going. <laughs> And you have a oh, four one unblockable. I don't think I can kill you. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm 12, hoping 15, that. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Uh, but I guess we just attack, right? There's nothing else to do. Well, first, uh, we played this. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, no. 
<laughs> oh. oh no, where's my cavern of souls? <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of Where's your damage. mana tithe? If mana tithe had one chance to shine, it would be right now. Maybe I should have baited it with uh, with this mentor of the meek. I probably would have countered that because that, <laughs> that draws guards. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yep. Uh, we play this land. Attack with everything. Okay, I've got, I've gotten good at stacking these now. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Uh just get in some commander damage. Oh. That's a combo. Uh, a little bit of card draw in in white. I can't click my land. There we go. Pit, yes. Uh no. Am I dead? No. Uh, okay, I'm gonna deal some more damage to Tomer. <laughs> <laughs> Tomer's still getting beat down. Oh my goodness! That was no, a lot of damage. Lot of damage. Yeah, wow. uh, I, ne I needed that Thalia's lieutenant. Should be Dude, happy that, that Saskia me. wasn't targeting you there. Hmm. And back to 32. I think I might just be dead. One, two, three, four, five. A million soldiers. You need, like, evacuation or some mass balance. I had engulfed the shore, but it got, it got wheeled. Um, can I chump for a turn? Do you have any trampoly stuff? No. So I guess I could... Wait, does Saskia? No, none of these. Yeah. One, two. Three, four, five, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen. Wait, I have five, nine. I have eleven, eleven tokens right now. Thirteen if I attack. Oh, wait. Um, hmm. Uh oh. This doesn't save me, but let's. So I'm just gonna get in with my flitter step idol on. Unblockable. <laughs> I think I have a plan. Turn up to one creature card. Gain a bit of life, which never hurts. What are you returning? We will get back Soul Sworn Spirit, <laughs> and then <laughs> we are going to detain. Oh God, <laughs> Bruce Tarl, <laughs> and we'll play Remote Isle and see if you can kill us. Keeping that strip mine up, just in case. Yeah. If I'm going to die, I'm just going to kill a savage land or something to send a message. <laughs> uh... <laughs> My deck is not built for blocking. We go attacking. Woo. So much mm, card draw. Yeah, I will draw. Yeah, I have a lot of card draw because I expected to get Wrath a lot. Yeah, this was not the week of Wraths. There was combo, there was chaos, and then there were two aggro decks. <sighs> All right, I guess it's blocking time. Oh boy. It is really hard to line up this many players. <laughs> How can I tell what's being blocked? I can't even tell what I'm blocking, so... <laughs> Saskia's unblocked. Uh, wait, my... Oh, that's a double block. That's not good. Oh, boy. I don't think Saskia's blocked still. Saskia doesn't have double strike, right? No. But it is bigger. Uh, I guess you could just take it and kill tokens. Four. 
I think I did this right. I oh, wait, wait, are you alive? You're actually killing my hero blade hold? That's what I'm trying to do. All right. Smart play. Because that's going to be a long Do you have enough blockers? To, yeah. Oh, I can ma maximize. Let's see. I think now I can dead. actually see everything. Aren't you? So I'm I'm taking four. four, and that's all? No. One unblocked token. Five, six. Three, four. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I, yeah you're, I you should be I'm alive. I think I'm taking ten. You should be alive. All right, we'll see. We'll see if we did this right or if we die here. You're, I think you're taking eight or... I think it's ten, maybe. I don't know. Wait, so how many? We're about to find out. All right, now, now I gotta check. Four, so Saskia, six. you're taking Saskia. Oh, do you have a pump spell? Do you have blossoming defense or something? Maybe. I will strip <laughs> mine you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so you're taking a Saskia? You're eight. taking one token? Two tokens. I at least see one token. There's one in the middle somewhere that's hitting me. I think. One beside the Silvak Explorer, and then. Oh, okay, so you take in the middle. eight, you'll be at three? I think that's Some, how it works. I thought okay. it was ten, but somewhere like that. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Wait, I kill all these, right? Let me just kill this unblock. Is there a pump? Uh, I have direct damage. Oh, yeah, that <gasps> works too. You're going to lightning bolt me? Oh, 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 yeah, Seth counted correctly. Wow, okay, I got that wrong, my bad. There was one more. Okay, so now... Am I going to get gut shot? <laughs> not, not gut shot, but I'm going to play this as protection. <laughs> in case you, like, I don't know, have some yeah. weird counter spell in hand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, that's brutal. Uh. And then I will Boros Charm you. Oh, okay. Uh. Well, I said I would do it. Take that Savannah. Oh, no, I didn't use the Savannah. <laughs> I floated. it. <laughs> uh, good game, good game. Good game. Good game. Well, that was a little bit insane. Um, that was very insane. Uh, did anybody have anything neat about their deck that they didn't get to show off, though? Because this was a bit of a uh, pretty expansive game, I would say. Um yeah, did anybody have anything cool they wanted to share about their deck? The main thing I learned this week is you can actually play all of the swords and still be in budget. I, for mm. some reason, thought the swords were, like the sword cycle, body and mind, feast and famine, fire and ice, were a few ticks at least each. And I actually have all of them in my deck, and it's around five ticks for the entire cycle of them, five or six ticks. So that was a big thing I learned, but you got to see most of what my deck's doing Every single creature except for Trophy Mage, uh, and I guess Stormtide Leviathan isn't technically unblockable, but it actually is as far as how it plays out, mm -hmm. it is an unblockable creature. So that's the plan. I was really excited. The one thing I wanted to do that I didn't get to do is this seemed like the perfect deck to try out Bloodforge Battleaxe, one of the new commander cards, basically a bone splitter that whenever the creature deals combat damage, you get a copy of it. So I wanted to just play uh, Girdle Lurkers and Slither Blades and all these, like, 1-1 one, one unblockables <laughs> for one and get a Bloodforge Battleaxe on them and just make a whole bunch of battle axes. So that was what I was hoping to do, but... I think it worked out pretty well for being an aggressive, not blocking and dirtling deck that's outside my playstyle. So, honestly, it seemed like a, a variant of Edric. So maybe Seth, maybe in the near future, <laughs> no. you might take that green green leaf into full blown Edric. Who knows? I I can't I can't play Edric because I know once I do it and draw those cards, <laughs> that's all I want to do, and it'll ruin Commander for me forever. <laughs> <laughs> just like it did for me <laughs> but it was it was sweet I, I, sticking to mono blue means you can run more counter spells um that adele is a lot more flexible and a lot, lot less linear than edric too because edric just comes boils down to play an evasive dude maybe have some cheap interaction play another evasive dude draw more cards but that adele is just up to whatever you get with that you might get an artifact that changes your entire game plan going forward so i think that adele is better long term 
um, in terms of enjoyment of the of of your deck, just because she adds more variety to it. So I really liked that version of like aggressive weenie um, style of card draw. Yeah, I think cool. Thada's really good, but I didn't really build too much around around Thada when I was looking at other Thada lists. I know a lot of people are playing like spreading seas and ways of making people have islands, but I didn't really go that deep with it as far as building around Thada. It's just like a somewhat unblockable, but the best, I think it's the best unblockable creature if the theme of your deck is unblockable, because I don't think there's mm-hmm. any truly unblockable legends. Other options are like, horsemanship creatures which kind of work like unblockable but i don't know Daxos, I think pretty but sweet. it's like skulk essentially it's not yeah not true unblockable yeah yeah the deck looks awesome um so richard you've tried a tribe that is not classified as jank how do you how do you feel it felt so good <laughs> <laughs> all the cards were individually powerful <laughs> they weren't like you know, wheel around the draft table type cards. But <laughs> they I actually spent... mentioned humans on the card instead of just like a couple of them mentioning your tribe. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I actually spent like two hours building this because I put all the good humans in and I was at like 130 cards and I spent so long trying to cut and they were just so good and it pained me so much to cut the humans. Uh, there was one card I wanted to try, which you didn't see. Uh, Seth... So I should cut it. <laughs> it was Combat <laughs> Celebrant, which uh, it's the Amokat card where if you attack, you can exert it. And if you do, you get another attack step. So I wanted to live the dream of Saskia Double Strike Combat Celebrant to do eight times the damage on, <laughs> on every creature. Uh, so I wanted to give that a shot. Uh, but other than that, I think the deck is pretty good. The most challenging part on building on a budget is the mana base. Uh, you mm-hmm. really want lands that come into play untapped, uh, so you can actually curve out and and you know do some aggro stuff. And a lot of the five color lands are pretty expensive on Moto, like City of Brass, uh, Mana Confluence. They're like four or five ticks each, and the humans are generally like one to two ticks. But since you have so many of them, it just adds up. So this deck can be improved a lot uh, if you get kind of a proper mana base with fetch lands and comes into play untapped lands. Mm -hmm. Uh, But humans are very powerful. There's so many good humans, and they're just really fun to play with. I forgot how good humans can be. Yeah, it's a tribe that I don't don't even remember ever seeing on Commander Clash. It was cool seeing them. And you raised a good point um, in more more colored, color-heavy decks, like four-color tribal humans. Um, the decks that run that run the most issues would definitely be aggro decks that are like, I really want to curve out. I really want to have my one drop, then two drop, then three drop. Because as as Tom and I have mentioned in the past multiple times, um, four or five color decks, pretty easy to do on a budget that you can get a really consistent mana base. But you are going to be sticking with a lot of tap lands or you're going to be running into inconsistencies. So decks that are more mid-rangey, more control, don't mind playing like a two drop on turn three and nothing on turn one. Um, those are the decks that kind of flourish more, but the ag- the aggro decks are definitely ones that really, really benefit the most, as you said, from, from a, a better budget, a more expensive budget. So, so definitely it's like to keep in mind, uh, the, the tribe looked awesome though. Um, yeah. I, I built yeah. this with being arch enemy in mind. So I have a lot of life gain, I have a lot of card draw and ways to prevent rats or recover from rats and ways to block while attacking. So I, I was fully prepared to go 3v1 for a while, but you guys kind of took the heat off me with your combo decks, so <laughs> didn't have to do that. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of combo decks, Tom, we finally got to see eggs make its debut on Commander Clash. I know this is something a deck you've been mentioning a lot of times before you you've had it in your back pocket, but we just never had like an opportunity to showcase it. Um, it this... seemed like it was going to win this, but like out of weird circumstance, AKA knowledge pool and planar chaos. It just didn't get there. Just didn't. So close. So this is a faith reward, second sunrise, uh, eggs deck. And, uh, I like it a lot. I think it's actually super fun. This is my favorite goldfish deck as in it's my favorite deck to goldfish of all time. 
Uh, it's just it works a bunch of different paths and it takes a lot of thinking and you have to really make sure you get the whole value out of every card you use and eventually you just play Crack Clan Ironworks and everything just blows up and it's fantastic. <laughs> um, I usually play this as a red-white eggs deck and I put it into blue and black for Brea uh, so you have access to Tezzeret and you have access to um, Fabricate, War of Invention, and Marionette Master is the most important card. Because for a while when I played this deck, the only way to really kill people was going infinite with Mirror Retriever and Junk Diver, and then using Altar of the Brood to kill everybody Pose. by milling them out. Yeah. Which works really well. Um, and so, but when you add in black for Marionette, Ma- Marionette Esther, and Brea herself is also just three artifacts, which is super useful. So if you are able to get her into the graveyard, then you can reanimate her. She's three artifacts, which is the main reason why Worm Coil Engine is usually in the deck, because he's three. it is three artifacts as well. But Worm Coil Engine is randomly expensive, so I had to take it out. Uh, but overall, I do really like this deck. I would definitely play it again. And um, yeah, I think if, I mean, if there wasn't a knowledge pool in play, I definitely would have gotten there. Uh, but that's okay. The other big thing about Bray is that she is also her own uh, win condition. So you can pay two mana through Bray to deal three damage to a player. So if life totals get low enough, you can generate like a bunch of mana and just kill someone with Brea. So overall, I I like this a lot. Um, It's super fun to play. And there's a more expensive version with better lands that's probably a little bit better. Uh, And if you want to do something like that, I would heavily suggest doing so. Because this deck is an absolute blast. It can be... It does have oppressive oppressive draws. I've definitely had a draw on this deck where you can just win on turn four. And... There's nothing anyone can do about it. So I would caution if you're in a more casual play group and you want to take this deck for a spin, uh, you may end up accidentally turn four comboing on people and you'll just have to be like, well, whoops. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this doesn't this doesn't usually happen. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I guess the the other forewarning I would give is if you build this deck, make sure to, to goldfish it a couple times. Cause mm. It is one of those decks, like you said, that it, it takes a lot of thinking and it does have a lot of avenues to combo off. But if you're familiar with it, then you're going to make a lot of the people you're playing with a lot happier because you won't be taking as much time to combo off. And, and a deck like this, for me, would be very, very difficult. And I would need to, to goldfish or play solitaire with it like at least five times to really get a good feel of it and probably a lot more than that. So, you know, play test a little bit before you bring it to a group, I would say. The other really fun part about this type of combo as opposed to others, and my actual New Year's resolution was to not be so scared of playing combo decks uh, uh, as opposed to playing artifacts. But um, the other really fun part about this type of combo is that it's not just like two cards. You don't have two cards and you win the game out of nowhere. And it's like, oh, that's super fun. Congratulations, you got two cards. <laughs> it's It's actually like... It takes. It does take time, so it could be annoying on the other side of the battlefield where you're like, you you can't actually concede against eggs because eggs can fizzle out out of nowhere and you're just fine. Uh, but as a person playing eggs, it, it's not just like, oh, I tutored up these two combo pieces and I won. It's like legitimately step by step. You have to get everything right and you have to ration mana, and it's very cool that way. That's that's why I like it a lot. So I would, yeah, I would definitely suggest trying out this deck if you feel like, uh, if if you end up in situations where like you play commander every month. Like once a month, and you just want to be able to goldfish a deck in the meantime. This is a great deck to goldfish. It's so much fun. So, uh, yeah, I would definitely suggest trying it out. And in the future, I won't be so scared of playing combo decks. So I might bring out combo every once in a while now, as I have never done. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> All right, and my deck was chaos. Um, I hate chaos when it has zero Same. win conditions and i still hate chaos even though i think this is my favorite version of chaos um this version of chaos i tried really hard to jump jam in all the you know noteworthy chaos cards and then try to figure out is there a way that i can turn this into my advantage so we have a lot of cards that basically say when anybody tries to cast a spell um Something else happens. Other people get to cast spells, or you don't get to cast that spell, but you get to cast other spells that are exiled. So stuff like Eye of the Storm, Wild Evocation, Hive Mind, um, a bunch of others similar to this. 
um, all say, like, when you cast a spell, you get to cast a different spell. It's all good, but it's something different. And and if you want to cast something that you really wanted to, well, tough, but you still get to cast things. So once I, once I put those cards in, I had basically a list already set up of, like, 85 cards. And then I wanted to figure out with the last slots, how do I actually make these, these cards actually work in my favor instead of just being pure chaos? Because that would make me really upset and bitter. Um... So the first step was when I noticed a lot of cards are basically letting you cast two spells um, when you ever, whenever you cast one, um, I went for Storm because Storm affects, uh, counts the number of cards that you cast, not if they all resolve or not. So um, Mind's Desire, uh, Empty the Warrants, and Aetherflux Reservoir were some of the ways to win. And then obviously I was running other chaotic cards like the Great Aurora, Warp World, Scrambleverse, Thieves Auction, all these stuff they care about you having lots of permanence on the battlefield. And then it jumbles up everybody's permanence or gives them new permanence equal to the number they had before. So I ran cards that could generate a lot of permanence very cheaply. So Tireless Tracker, for example, showed up because it can poop out a lot of clue tokens very quickly. And that counts to my Great Aurora or, or Warp World or any of that sort of stuff. And then I also took it a little bit step further, further like Scrambleverse, Thieves Auction, and a bunch of other Confusion in the Ranks. All of these swap your permanence for other people's permanence in a very chaotic way. So I decided that I was going to run stuff like Gruel Charm and Brand so I can actually swap, I can let everybody swap uh, permanence together, but once the dust settles and I want my own permanence back, I can return the permanence that you guys have um, control of back to my ownership. Um, so I had ways of just trying to capitalize on the chaos. And I think the deck accomplish its goal quite well um but despite all this i don't think i'll ever play chaos again because i just legitimately don't like i have the storm and knowledge pool and all that sort of stuff i just don't like them i like it more when they have win conditions but in generally in general that's just not the style of magic that i i like so hopefully you guys enjoyed it uh maybe as just like a nice little one-off but this is not something i will continue in the future <laughs> Happy holidays, everyone. We're going to all take a nice vacation. And when we'll be back, we'll have a nice 100th anniversary special for you guys. So stay tuned for that. And until then, you guys, see ya. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up with the latest and greatest, click on the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to check out similar videos, click on the links here and here.